when we released it at E3, um, the Japanese press, Famitsu mainly got a hold of it, and all of a sudden it went from, they have a top, I think, 30 or 20, and it was all, all of a sudden up to 14. I mean, and they've only shown 16, okay. They've only shown it like once, and that's a pretty high jump from being out of the blue to being on the top 20, just like that. Concerning the style, more important than adding new styles, um, if they have more time, of course that's something they plan to do, but more important than that, they want to get down the four that they've shown already, and they want to make it so that right now, um, they're, they're, he doesn't feel there's enough separation between them. Like, if they feel too similar, then there was no point in making the styles at all, really. So he has to make sure that each style, in combination with weapons, yields a new uh, super cool ability. Um, and so that's what he wants them to focus on, to make sure that when you are playing the gunslinger style and you're using the guns and you really feel it and it feels like something that feels like a game that would feel like if you're focusing on the guns and you're playing the swords then you're gonna have more cutting and close-up action and that just totally feels like that style and he said he notices in America we of course focus on the guns and then we focus on the swords and then the defensive or the aerobatic style seem to come later and personally those styles don't have as much zip as the fighting style so in order to make them be able to compete with the sword and the, the gun style, they have to make them even cooler. And so that's another area they have to work on, focus on. So they want to make sure that the four, those styles, are definitely really cool and feel unique uh, before they go on to adding new things. Being able to create cool animations uh, while at the same time maintaining gameplay, that's what making a game is all about. Very important, especially with this game more than others. Uh, but I feel that they shouldn't have to focus on 100% balance, not Balance should not be laid 100% equally over the different styles. There should be times where you're using a style and saying, man, using this style is making this level a pain in the butt. And other times you're saying, man, using this style just makes it look so cool right here. So I want them to focus on making each style fun and unique in its own right versus trying to balance the game perfectly across the board for all styles. Basically, if you're going to think of it in Street Fighter terms, Street Fighter is a game that's got balance and yet it doesn't. And by that I mean you can take any character in the game and of course there's going to be some that seem stronger against others and others that seem weaker against others. There's still that, that area. But if you were to focus on one character and play them over and over and over again, you would get better and stronger. Um, and you would see maybe a difference in balance versus somebody who hasn't played with somebody who has. But then after that person who hasn't played plays and then they're, they're playing each other on the same level, even if they're using different characters, thanks to the, that game's balance, all of a sudden they're back on the same equal playing field. If we try to focus on making Devil May Cry with that balance, balance, balance being everything, I think you're not going to be able to focus as much on the cool, on what's important about the game. It shouldn't just be about balance. Basically with the game, um, what you're looking at is some of the enemies are so tough that it's going to be near impossible or, dare I say, impossible to try and beat them by yourself. So yes, it has been uh, built, created on the base of teamwork. Um, the way I envisioned it is not just one person lonely strolling through the grassy fields, but instead four friends that getting together and we're going to go kick that boss's butt. Sort of that kind of feeling. Uh, when they get into the game. That's what we are aiming after. So, yes, there are, are a lot of enemies in there that are specifically set up to be so hard that maybe if you are a master, then you could do it by yourself, but in general, you're going to need help. Tomorrow, still